Hi all, uh, this is Mike here. So today, in today's video, I'm going to bring uh, bring to you guys uh, the steps and tutorial on how to actually upgrade the uh, Nexus 6P as well as the Nexus 5X uh, to the latest Lineage OS 15. So um, there's some assumption in this place, so meaning <clears throat> we are just assuming that you're actually upgrading from stock, stock ROM and stuff. So if you are already on Lineage OS 14, as of my previous video, you can actually just download the package and update it directly, right? So for this case, is for those that are on stock ROM that would want to update to Lineage OS 15, then you can actually follow this video and see what is the steps needed to get it done. So let's just get on with it. Okay, the next step we need to do is to enable USB debugging. So for now, my phone is already enabled as you can see. I already have develop options here so if you don't have it you can go to about phone and just go to the build number and tap on it for seven times and the developer option should be there so as you can see now no need because i'm already a developer so from then on i mean like from in develop option itself you make sure that oem unlocking is enabled because you need to unlock the loader if you want to do the flashing itself and as well as the usb debugging needs to be on so once you have all that ready so we can move on to the next step on your PC. So if you are connecting to your phone for the first time using OER, uh, ADV devices, normally you will get this message here to prompt you to actually trust the computer that you are connecting to. So you will need to always allow from this computer and press on OK. Then we can continue on with the rest of the process. So as I have shown you in a previous clip, so if you do ADB devices and you haven't actually authorized your phone, you're going to get the uh, message unauthorized. So once you actually accept it, always trust the computer itself, when you do an ADB devices, you will be able to see there's a device attached here, right? Okay, the next thing you need to do is make sure that you have all the needed stuff downloaded. Uh, one of them is the TWRP. Second thing is the uh, Lineage OS 15.1. And the third one would be the G apps that's needed. So these three items is needed to do the uh, flashing itself. So once you are done with that, what you can do now is just to do a ADB reboot, boot loader, and press on enter. So this will boot your phone into fast boot mode where you can continue on with the process. Okay, so once you are booted into fast boot mode. So the next thing you will need to do is to check on fast boot devices to ensure that you are connected. So as you can see now, fast boot devices is connected. So there are two things you will need to do. First of all, it's either you boot to recovery or you um, flash recovery straight to the phone itself. So it's up to you. The choice is yours. You can temporarily boot the recovery or you want you I mean if you are using custom ROM the best for you to do is to flash recovery straight to the phone so okay the next thing we need to do is to navigate to the uh, folder where you store all your downloaded files as for me it's here CD oh, so basically I should put this as a F CD oh, I'm here so slash the view as you can see I have the uh, open I have the lineage and I have the TWRP file that you have so what you need to do now is to flash your recovery with the uh, TWRP right so what you need to do now is basically to fast boot flash recovery and TWRP recovery angular image so then you just press and enter okay this is because you haven't actually set your environment variable so that they can't actually detect the uh, fast boot from there so what you can do now is to switch the environment at the uh, minimal ADV and fast boot <coughs> path into your environment variable so what you can do now is basically go to your CD yeah, you just go to C so this is your so normally what, what I'll do is um, I'll go to file explorer then you go to your windows, program files, minimal ADB, and you just 
this one and you go to device manager ah oh, not device manager sorry you go to your advanced system settings environment variables path you look for the path and you add in the new one right so you just do a new paste this in and okay 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 and you can close off everything now and you need to close off this as well okay so now the next thing you need to do is to actually launch minimal again you know already get fast boot and go to your F again CD Google Nexus put a dr slash w cd nexus eh? Google nexus cd nexus 6p and then dr slash w and here you go so you can do a fast boot slash recovery dwrp Okay, so now the uh, recovery has been flashed into the phone itself. So, so the next thing you need to do is to actually have the file transferred into the phone itself as well. But that will do after we boot into recovery. So what you have done, so we move on to the phone for you to boot into recovery mode. Okay, as you can see now, you're in fast boot mode. So you can actually use the volume rocker to reboot to recovery mode. As you can see here, recovery mode. So what you can do now is just to press on power button. and they will be booted to recovery as you can see now we are booted into recovery so you can actually put in the password if you have it or you can just do cancel swipe to allow modification then there you are in the team win recovery right so we'll move on to the pc for the rest of the process okay normally well when you actually reboot it into fast boot, uh, I mean like recovery, you can actually do a check on ADB devices to make sure that you are connected. So as you can see now, it's connected as recovery. So you can actually push your file. For example, for my case, it's in F, CD, Google Nexus, CD, uh, Nexus 6P, R slash W as my two files is here. But once you actually boot it into recovery, if you have any password like PIN or anything on your phone, you can actually decrypt the data by just entering the PIN on your recovery. That will work. So if you can see now, this is the normally there will be an MTP available. So you can actually just copy in your file, right, via the MTP, or you can actually do a ADB pushed lineage slash SD card. So this will basically push the ADB file into your phone itself. I mean, push the lineage file into your phone itself as well, and you just repeat the process with the uh, open gems. So what when the two files is in, then we can do the flash via the recovery on the phone. So once we are done with the push so what we can do now is to move on to the phone itself for the rest of the process okay so once you have your ROM copy lineage OS 15.1 copy into it then you can actually do a wipe so normally what I'll do is I'll do advanced wipe I'll wipe everything except for internal storage then you can do a wipe so when you are done, you can go back and do an install. As you can see, this is your Lineage OS. You can just select Lineage OS, add more zips, select three apps. And once you are done, you can just do a Compton Flash. So here, as you can see, there will be flashing the, um, the files itself. So what you can do is just to that the process completes.
Okay, as you can see, the process of flashing has completed, so you can actually do a white that we cache. So normally, that's what I'll do. So, when you are done, you can just reboot the system and do not install, and you should be booted into Linux OS. Mm, I got this message here saying that a vendor mismatch image had been detected, so so I can just press on OK on this one and to start I just press ready to wait. Yes. Then you just let it continue booting. Let's see how it goes. Okay now the uh, image has been booted. Please ensure your image matches OPM something something. So so I press on OK so we can do a start for this one. Skip for this. I think this one we can skip it first. Continue. Uh, this one we can just set it as a um, just to make sure that everything works. We will just set the date correctly. So for mine, it's here. Today's date, uh, 2018, March 3rd. Okay. Time now is 3:12. Okay, next, next, skip the fingerprint for now, not now, skip anyway, okay next, then as you can see now it's actually booting, um, just a second, so no need, just next, do a start. Okay, as you can see now, this is Lineage OS 15 running. Um, this is what they have here. So you can actually check out the settings. So if you look here, as you can see now, if you go to about phone, this uh, Android 8.1, Lineage OS 15. So this is what you have. So you can check whether there's any lineage OS update. But before that, you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So I'll just connect to the network now. Okay. So once the network is connected, so you can check on the. OS updates they will be checking to see whether there's something this is one of the latest ROM that you have so it's, um, it's the latest one so there are there are some features like now nowadays uh, what you can do is like is to swipe out for the for the um, app crawler so you can actually do that okay so there you go I mean the process will be the same for both the Nexus 5x as well, so you can follow the same process. Just make sure you download the correct correct uh, ROM version and GX version, and you should have the thing installed in no time, right? So if you do have any issues or questions that you want to ask regarding how to actually flash the Linux OS ROM to this version itself, you can actually leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, folks, that's all for today. So if you guys are interested in installing the Lineage OS 15.1 into your Nexus 6P or Nexus 5X, you can just follow the steps as described in this video. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!